Perhaps you've had the experience where you've got out of the car on a hot, dry day and the uh, when you touch the car door, you've suddenly received an electric shock which makes you jump. Now this is static electricity and it happens all over the place. This is where, this is, for example, um, you can make somebody's hair stand on end when you rub a balloon and bring it close to their head. So let's, before we dive into this flashcard, I just want to show you what's happening on an atomic level. Remember that an atom, at the center of an atom, is a positively charged nucleus. And it's got a few particles in here called protons and neutrons. The protons are positively charged by one, and the neutrons are neutral. They don't have any charge. And around the nucleus, and the nucleus is absolutely tiny, by the way, around the nucleus, we have shells of orbiting electrons. These little tiny particles are negatively charged, these electrons. And in a balanced atom, the number of electrons balances the number of protons. We've got three plus three positive charges in the nucleus, and around it, balancing that those three positive charges, we have three negative charges. So that's electrically neutral. That whole atom becomes balanced. So friction, not only can friction turn kinetic energy into heat energy, that's its main purpose, it slows things down and creates heat through rubbing, but friction also can move electrons from one atom to another, from one material to another. And it's this friction which can cause imbalances in charges between atoms and materials. So, for example, if we go to uh, our flashcard now and we have a balloon rubbing Flossie the sheep, now the electrons which are around the balloon's uh, atoms could get rubbed off and transfer to Flossie the sheep. So we could get negative particles being transferred to Flossie. Now that leaves behind the positively charged particles, which are the nuclei of the atoms. Now they can't move, they're just stuck in position, but they're left behind and because they're imbalanced, now they've lost their electrons, we have charged the balloon and made it positive and Flossie the sheep has become negative. Now, it could be that it's the opposite way around. It could be that the electrons move from the sheep to the balloon. But the principle is there. So, let's take a look at this flashcard. When some electrically insulating materials, and that means that the electrons find it difficult to move freely through the material, that's what insulating means, when they're rubbed together, friction our friend friction makes negatively charged electrons move from one material to the other. The material that gains electrons becomes, well, what charge do electrons have? They're negative, so that material must become negatively charged. Negatively charged, and the material that loses the electrons, well those atoms become unbalanced and so if they lose electrons then the nucleus wins if you like and the whole atom becomes positive and so that material will become positively, positively, let's get my spelling in order here, positively charged and it will be positively charged by an equal amount. So the same amount that the material that gains the electrons becoming negative, the other material loses electrons and becomes positive by an equal amount.